India is developing a long-range surface-to-air missile defense system, set to reach an impressive 350 kilometers. Analysts are buzzing, suggesting it could rival Russia's formidable S-400 Triumph. This is Athena Defense. In today's video, we're diving into this groundbreaking development. All right, let's start with the basics. India has recently given the green light to an ambitious project called Kusha. Now, it might sound like a secret mission from a military operation, but it's actually a significant step towards strengthening India's air defense. The primary goal of Project Kusha is simple but crucial, to make India's airspace more secure. This project is centered on strengthening the nation's air defense capabilities. It's not a sudden decision, instead, there has been dedicated work on it for several months. Although the formal acceptance occurred recently, it highlights India's steadfast commitment to leveraging its indigenous defense technologies. Now, let's delve into the tech details. At the core of Project Kusha lies the formidable long-range surface-to-air missile system. It aims to be capable of detecting and neutralizing a wide array of threats, including stealth fighters, aircraft, drones, cruise missiles and precision-guided munitions. With a range of up to 350 kilometers, it's like having a protective bubble against aerial threats. This mobile platform comes equipped with long-range surveillance and fire control radars, making it a versatile defense mechanism against a variety of airborne threats. Project Kusha unfolds in stages. The first interceptor missile, codenamed M1, is actively under development. Building upon the foundation of the existing MR-SAM system, it incorporates an extra booster stage, enabling engagement of targets at distances of up to 150 kilometers. Anticipated testing is scheduled to commence in late 2024 or early 2025. But hey, the momentum doesn't stop there. The M2 and M3 interceptor missiles are currently in development, with M2 targeting an extended range of 250 kilometers, and M3 optimized to neutralize threats beyond 350 kilometers. Now, let's address the elephant in the room. How does Project Kusha stack up against other systems? Unlike the versatile S-400, Project Kusha is aiming for long-range defense. And get this, it claims an impressive single-shot kill chance of at least 80% rising to over 90% with two consecutive missiles. This is similar to the Russian S-400, which boasts not less than 80% for a single missile launch and not less than 90% for a salvo launch. Similarly, India's other interceptor missile exhibits comparable capabilities, for instance. A lone Akash missile boasts an 88% probability of successful interception. Firing two missiles spaced five seconds apart increases the probability of interception to 98.5%. Now, there's been some speculation about a Russian S-400 connection, but let's keep it real. The timeline and other factors make it a bit unrealistic. India has made progress in missile development on its own, thanks to organizations like DRDO. The Agni series and Prithvi missiles are important players here. India has a track record of successful collaborations, such as MR-SAM and BrahMos supersonic cruise missiles and strong partnerships with countries like Russia and Israel. Plus, a focus on space capabilities has been a key part of India's success. Regular testing and making improvements are crucial for making better missile systems. In conclusion, Project Kusha is not just a project, it's a statement. It marks India's commitment to cutting-edge air defense capabilities, showcasing its ambition to be self-sufficient in tackling long-range aerial threats. We're witnessing a strategic shift, and it's exciting to see India step up its game in defense technology. If you found this information interesting, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more updates. This is Athena Defense, signing off. And until next time, stay curious.